This is just one piece of a multi-part course working with actions inside of Moho Pro 13. If you'd like more information on this course and to receive 20% off, click the link in the top comment. One other thing I want to point out with organizing your actions is you can now create folders, which makes the process even easier. So not only can you look at the icons of your actions and just at a glance tell what it is, but the folders can easily help with this and you can create folders however you see fit. And one other thing I want to point out is you can change the way you sort your actions as well. Near the bottom here of the panel, you'll see we have a sort icon. If we click on that, we can choose to go A to Z, first created, Z to A, last created. You can go in and organize it like that so it's easier to, of course, keep track of what you're doing with your actions. So now, on the bottom, we have the ability to create a new action as well as create a folder or a group. So we're going to just click on new group and I can come in here and name this one morphs or steps if we want. And once we have that, we can come in here and look at the actions we have. And again, we are on the bone layer for this, just in case if you're wondering if you can't see the actions, make sure you're on that bone layer. We want to come in now and take the morphs or just the one morph that we created for this test and put it into that folder. And it's really simple. It works just like anything else. You would just click and drag and bring it right in just like that. So now you have it organized within that folder. We can do this now for the animated actions as well. So click on test animation and we can create a new group. I can name this one actions or regular actions I think is how this is referred to as or we could put in parentheses animated hit enter and then grab that test animation click and drag and then bring it into that folder. Finally and you can also collapse these just like any other group like if we're working with groups within our layers panel it works all very similar. We now want to come in here and just group the remaining actions that we have here. So I can come in here and if you highlight all these and then create a group, you can also group them all together just like you can with layers. So that's also very useful and it's cool that it works across different panels like that. It has a very similar system so that way you don't have to remember different processes every time. So here we're just going to name this one smart actions and I can put in parentheses corrections and then hit enter. Not all of them are corrections because the blink and the head turns are not corrections. They're actually just dials that we can use. And in that case, if we want to go further with this, let's create one more folder. We don't necessarily have to go just based on the three main types. We can do one more and we could name this one, let's say action dials. And I'll put in this parentheses here, since I'm doing that for everything else, head controls because that's essentially what it is. Come over here to the smart actions and I can just break this apart really quick. And again, to make this easier, you can take the select bone tool, B on the keyboard, and then just click on blink as an example and you'll see that it highlights it right there. And that's one of these smart actions that we were talking about, these action dials. It's not correcting anything, it's just allowing us to easily animate using that dial. So I'm just going to grab that one and bring it into the action dials folder. Just like that. And I'm going to do the same now for all the others. So head up and down and head left and right are two that I know for sure are action dials. So I can bring those down just like that. We have head left right which is the one we just grabbed. Eyebrows just bring that down into that group and then we have pupils as well which we don't have actually an action for that. It's just simply a bone we created and linked it to the pupils. So there's actually nothing there we need to do. So I think everything else is actually a correction and we can leave it there and just collapse that. And now we have the action dials and we can collapse that as well. So now we have our folder set up so that we can easily organize as we continue to build up our actions library. And again, you don't have to use groups. However, I find it to be incredibly useful 
in this case, because as you continue to build up your actions, I think you'll find that it can just be very useful, trust me, because I find actions to be quite useful with my own productions. I'm constantly building them up and I have all sorts of different groups. Otherwise, I would get pretty confused. So there you go, groups for your actions. We'll pause here and up next, take a look at this rig before we dive in and start building up more actions for this course. And there's definitely more to learn with this course. We go through build up an actions library. We talk about the different action types. We talk about what actions are more appropriate for others. We even build an optional actions dial if you wish to go that route. So there's a lot to cover in this two and a half hour course. Please click the link in the top comment to check it out and receive 20% off.